sugar aka salmon aka sugar and we're here with the perfect match i am not excited i'm more or less like let's just go ahead and get this started the last time that i did do it i put them all in a room and still not a lot was going on the guys were like in the bathroom like they were hiding out or scared or whatever and the girls were basically talking amongst themselves probably gossiping no less but i've decided to go ahead and just match them up and hopefully we're hopefully i'm doing the right thing and matching the right person with the right person if not my bad i can't do that much but i do have a guest here today and i'm excited about it and he agreed to come here and kind of sort this out and help me bond uh <laughs> some sims together uh please welcome angel leone angel how are you i'm doing good i'm glad you're doing better because i heard you had a little mishappening happening during christmas time but all is good yeah, all is good. So far, so good. You know, I'm still keeping my, my cute little toes bandaged up. And now I've got a problem with my finger. But hey, life goes on. And you know, <laughs> what can you do? But anyway, um, you saw the last one, did you not? And what did you think of the guys just being in the bathroom and just not paying attention to the girls? What did you think about that? I think they were just being punks. A bunch of guys in the bathroom. What is that? Out. Come on, fellas. What is you doing? You're embarrassing. You're, you're not just embarrassing yourself. You're embarrassing me. You know, I gave you guys props. You guys are gonna go in there. You're gonna do your thing. Gonna talk to talk. But yeah, I'm not even doing none of that. The bad part about it, I can't blame just blame the guys because the girls were just as bad. They kind of got together and was all sitting there talking and gossiping. I tried to push them together as best I could, but as you can see, they just weren't having it. It was like, I don't know, it was... It was like in, in junior high school, you know, you have the junior high school dance and you got the boys on, on one corner uh, hugging a wall. And you got the girls in the other corner hugging a wall. That's how it seemed to me. But, you know, like I said, hopefully, you know, we did get a little love connections, not a lot, but hopefully the love connections that we did get will kind of make this, uh, this a little bit more interesting. So my first choice was Jennifer and Sebastian. 
The only thing about this is that Sebastian actually has like a little feelings for Iris. So I'm not sure how that's going to work out. I thought about putting them in separate houses, but <gasps> why not cause a little drama? So I put them in the same household, which you guys will see on the next episode. But what do you think about the Jennifer and Sebastian uh, couple? Well, I mean, a little drama is always, I guess, is a little bit good. I mean, the thing is, he got to find whoever he's feeling. He may like somebody, but his feelings may be somewhere else. I may want to try Iris first. Who knows? You know, because you just say he had a little bit of feelings for her. You know. Well, we'll get to the reason why I didn't want to try Iris, because there's a reason for that. But we'll talk about that a little bit later on. Now, who did you pick that you thought would be a love connection? Um, forgive me if I'm miss, miss, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm not, I'm not pronouncing your name correctly. Kuhaku and Keston, if I'm saying that right. Um, but there's a little bit of love there. So I'm hoping that the little love goes further. Come on, Keston, you gotta... Mm. You know, just take it, man. Don't be afraid. Just talk to her. Just like you said earlier, you feel like it's a little bit of high school, you know, girls on one side. I, to me, maybe I'm old school. The man's supposed to take the initiative. If she's in the corner, like, hey, baby, well, I'll join you in the corner. What's going on? You know, talk to her. That's 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 me, though. And you're right, but he, they have a lot of friendship there. But it, extre it's more like a, a ro like more like a puppy love kind of thing. It's not really a love connection, more like a romantic interest. But I gave you the wrong name, and I apologize. That's my fault. It's not Caston; it's Caster. That was my fault. It's K A S T O R. And I, when I gave it to Angel, my bad, Angel. I actually gave you the wrong spelling of it, so it's actually Caster. But you're right; it's a very, 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 very little love connection there. But let's. See See how that goes. Um, my next pick was Lenore and Caden. And the reason why I picked Lenore and Caden, because I honestly thought that they kind of bonded a little bit and kind of got a little bit of a, a connection there. The bad part is when I ended the party that I had, they had a little bit of a an attraction with each other. And... <laughs> My game crashed, and when I came back to it, that attraction was gone. So, but they still have a, a like a little bit of a friendship, so just a tiny bit. But I think he, she's just more friends with him than anyone. And when I say a tiny bit, it is a very, very, very tiny sliver of a friendship. <laughs> but hopefully, maybe that friendship will develop into something more. What do you think about my choice as far as um? Lenora and uh, Caden. Just a little glance. Is that why you say a little, little, very little? I mean, I'm talking about a tiny, petite little love there. <laughs> Was that just a glance? Like, okay, I just looked at her across the room. That's it. <laughs> it's good though. No, no, it's good. I, I think I think it's a pretty good, um, you know, little match. The funny part about there's not even any love. There's just like a tiny bit of a green like, and maybe that's what it was. He just looked across and said, "Hey, hi, how are you?" It wasn't even a love connection. Well, at first it was until the the game crashed, and of course, you know, it didn't go back to the way it was. But even the love connection was like a, a like just basically like you know how when you look down at the bottom, it's like beep. That's it. It was like a beep. <laughs> Wait, you said agreement? <laughs> like they just agree on? You know what? I like salad. Me too. Hey, there's love. <laughs> that type of that type of agreement. <laughs> good. I'm sorry, but no, he's good though. Wow. Wow. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, basically that's what it was. So, who is your next pick? Uh, my next pick, I have Jade and Lucian. Um, I think there's there's a possibility of uh, friendship um, building up. You know, and what's good, that's, to me, that's the best love when you start off as friends, start to get to know each other, and you never know, things build up, 
Right. That's true. The good thing about her and Lucian is that she's halfway mark of the friendship uh, with Lucian. No love connection there, but, uh, you know, once they get in the house together, I'm sure that that would probably, hopefully that will grow. But they did at least sit down and talk more than the others, which was great. I, I love the fact that they had conversation because what we're going by, if there's not a love connection there, how who do they have the most friendship with? And like I said, Lucian was in the, like, close to the middle. So I thought, you know, great. That that would be great for them. And I'm, I'm glad you agreed with me on uh, on that pick. I really am uh, looking forward to seeing how that's going to go. My next pick is Iris and Ricardo. Now, let me explain to you why. And I think, Angie, you remember the reason. I know you had said maybe Iris and Sebastian because there is like a sliver, another sliver, of a love connection there with Iris and Sebastian. But I thought Iris and Ricardo, for the simple reason, like, He's from Hawaii. She wants to go to Hawaii. He loves to eat. She's a cook. So I thought that that was a better um, form of a of a couple than just saying okay. Because I think what happened with Sebastian, he uh, he met Iris and they kind of talked a little bit and kind of like got that little flirtation going. But I really felt like Ricardo and Iris is the better bond there. I know that I'm going against what I said I was going to do, but. What do you think? You think that that may be not the best match? Maybe I should go ahead and let him talk to uh, Sebastian and Iris get together instead of um, Iris and Ricardo? Honolulu, baby. Let me show you where I'm from. You want to be here? You know what? I, I think you're right. I think that was the best um, the best match. She wants to move out there. He already knows, you know, what Hawaii is all about. And plus, he wants to go back, you said, right? So he wants to go back. So I, I, I think that's that's good. I, I think so. I think because because remember when we first were introducing them in in the first uh, episode, we were talking about how, you know, wow, that could be a, that was just like perfect because as soon as we talked about uh, him and then we talked about her, I thought it was just perfect. So I'm hoping that. You know, that develops. If not, then, hey, you know, I I try to, to me, it was a perfect match. If not, then, you know, Sebastian may run away with Iris and, hey, I don't know, maybe Ricardo will find someone else. Who was your next choice? My next choice that I have here, Kayla and Declan. Mm. Why that? Why those two? Just curious. Um... <clears throat> I found that there's, like you said, there's a little bit of love. They're kissing. Okay, there's a lot of love. Okay, homeboy was all over her. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> kissing and hugging and... Um, he ready. I think my homeboy is ready. <laughs> what do you think about that match? I, I have to agree with you on that one. I was they were the, They're the first ones that actually have a, a, a like a love connection and that one i mean it's not a big love connection but they they're basically he they're neck and neck with friendship and a love they're not halfway there but they have more love for each other and than anybody else so i honestly thought that hey you know i have to agree with you 100 on that the only, the only reason why i asked why is because i know that they yeah they were all over each other but the weird part about is when we did the little the little party where they were shutting together he he barely paid her any attention. He had the other girls like all over him. He barely paid her any attention. I'm thinking, okay, is Declan gonna be one of these one of these boys who's gonna be like all over all the girls? I'm hoping not. I'm hoping that his little love connection here for Kay is gonna be uh, something that's gonna blossom into something else. But we'll see. We'll see. My next choice was Ember and Dawson. And the reason why Ember seems to be such a sweetie and Dawson, they were kind of quiet for a minute. They were getting their little friendship. And the next thing I know, I looked up and they started flirting. I didn't, I don't think I even initiated the flirt, but they started flirting. And there's just a little bit of love there, more friendship than love. But I think they're cute. And I think that since they're both redheads, <laughs> I think they're going to make some cute little babies. And, you know, I want the thing is that I hope I wish all of them can win. I mean, we know all of them can have a love relationship and, and end up marrying, but I thought they were cute. I thought the little redheads, you know, I don't know. <laughs> what do you think about that, uh, those two? No, I think it's all good. And last, but definitely not least, what is your choice? What was your, what was the last choice on our list? I have Amalia 
and August. I have nothing here <laughs> for them. Um, I don't know if they like each other. I don't know if they want to agree on a salad bar or. Wow. Um, they have like a basically one line of love. And I think it was one line of just a flirtation. August seems to be really a sweetheart. He seems to be real fun. Uh, he's a comedian, as a matter of fact, and he seems to be real fun. It's He seems to be uh, a good sim, clumsy, and he's just, he's different. And I thought that her being, you know, I don't know. I just thought that that may be a good match. And then again, it could be because they were the only two left over. Wow. <laughs> uh, you know, we, we're going to bleep that out. That that didn't come out of her mouth. Um, who doesn't love a comedian? Come on, make the ladies laugh. I think August, once they get to know each other with Amalia, it, and please forgive me if I'm saying your name incorrectly. Please forgive me. Um, you never know. Amalia may fall over hills for August. He's not a bad looking guy. He's funny. Um, you know, he seemed like he's all about family. Well, I, I, again, it's only there's only can be one one winning couple, of course, only one wedding and everything. But it it would be good if everybody can get a love connection. It may not happen that way. It may, you know, it may happen where people be like, you know what, I I don't want to ever be bothered with you again. But then again, it might be a love connection. You never know. So you got your couples, and the first couple is Jennifer and Sebastian. The second couple is Rahaku and Cast Castor. The third couple is Lenore and Caden. There's Jay and Lucian. Then we have Iris and Ricardo. Hopefully that works. And the next couple is... Ella and Declan. And then we have Ember and Dawson. And last we have... Leah and August. So the next episode, we're going to have... Um, them, we're going to see them move into the house together and there's going to be two separate houses and we're going to work on both houses and we're going to we're not going to have them put in the same room right I was going to put them in the same room like the couples but I think I want them to work up to that so we're going to put you know the girls in a room two girls in a room two girls in a room two guys two guys so we're going to do that and then we're going to basically start doing and for them to get to know each other. And then the fun begins, the challenges, because there will be some challenges for them to go. We're going to have, uh, goodness, quite a few challenges for them to get through. And then you, you will vote. Now, the only thing about the voting process of this, you'll be voting for the couple you want to go, or it might not even be a couple, it might be one individual person. So this can go anywhere. Just because these are the first ones that we say they're a couple, this can go anywhere. I mean, who knows? Sebastian may end up with Iris. Uh, August may end up with Jade. You never know. This is just the beginning of what we're about to do to them. Oh, did I say that? I didn't mean we're about to do them. I didn't mean that. I really didn't. But I hope you're looking forward to this. I am excited. The next episode, as I said before, we'll be seeing them in the house. And we'll get to start and see who is going to be our perfect match. And I hope, 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 hope that Angel will come back again later on to uh once we start getting them in their um their challenges i hope angel comes back with me and and helps with that can you do that angel i will be able to do that if you have popcorn ready for me i'll be more than happy to do so you got it as always thank you so much for joining me you can be anywhere in the virtual world and anywhere on youtube you decide to be with a little on me and it is greatly appreciated remember to like subscribe share and comment until next time again thank you so much angel for joining me until next time mwah, sugar kisses bye <laughs>